It is the first day under Taliban's rule in Kabul. The streets of the Afghan capital were eerily silent, with citizens coming in terms with everything that has changed in the last 24 hours. The Taliban was seen in streets across the city, while hundreds of civilians tried to escape the country, flooding Kabul's international airport. The Taliban patrolled Kabul, trying to project calm as helicopters raced overhead throughout the day to evacuate the personnel. The flag of Afghanistan was seen lowered in Kabul. Reports suggest that the Taliban will replace the national flag with their own flag. There were scattered reports of armed men knocking on doors and gates as Taliban deployed the Mujahideens at major intersections of the city. Video show. The videos on your screens now show vehicles carrying armed Taliban fighters driving through the streets. In other parts of central Kabul, streets were largely deserted. <laughs> Taliban officials said that they had started collecting weapons from civilians as the people no longer need them for personal protection. The Taliban spokesperson Suhail Shaheen even said in a message that there are strict orders not to harm anyone. On the streets of Kabul, the Taliban was busy conducting interviews trying to project an idea of peace and normalcy in the capital. Taliban members were seen asking people on the streets about what they thought about them taking over Kabul. Listen in. Now, we have a lot of people who are in the car, the Ansari, the Lazmina, the Dataham, the Sami Marathu, the Sami Marathu, the Sami the Sami Marathu, 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 the Sami روان یو شه بخش به باندې د خار جا جا خلو د سال خاریان سره هم مرکه لرو چې دې ته کوم خطر مواجه شوی ده او کنه د دې څه احساس لري ل دې څه خې پختو یو د هم دې خار وګړی دا ځوان د ل دې څه خې پختو ځوان نوم څه ده حبیب الله حبیب الله څنګه احساس لري چې جدي د قرار ما a large number of people were seen busy walking towards the airport in a desperate attempt to flee the country. Many Afghans were desperately trying to flee to the Hamid Karzai International Airport while the West scrambled to evacuate its citizens from an increasingly chaotic airport. Kabul's former diplomatic quarter also fell silent as most foreign missions were moved to the airport, leaving Taliban patrols in control of the fortified green zone. Many of them were seen manning checkpoints of the diplomatic quarter. With rifles slung over their shoulders, they walked through the streets of the Green Zone, the heavily fortified district that houses embassies and international organizations. The Taliban have reassured the international community that Afghans should not fear them and they will not take revenge against those who supported the U.S.-backed alliance.
A couple of streets away from the now deserted British embassy, a Taliban patrol went into the compound of Tolo News, one of Afghanistan's largest private broadcasters. They were seen entering the compound of the news channel, collecting the government-issued weapons from them. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.